A great way of multiplying two numbers together that you can't calculate in your head is to use a multiplication grid. First of all, you partition your numbers. So we have 43 becoming 40 and 3. 24 we can make 20 and 4. And these are the numbers we're going to use in our grid. When you draw a grid for two digit numbers it will look a bit like a noughts and crosses grid with a multiplication symbol in the top left corner. I then simply have to transfer my partition numbers into the outside of the grid. So 43, 40 goes here and 3 into this row and we'll put 24 along the top so 20 here and 4 here. It's very important you remember to partition properly. You can see with this grid the 24 has been partitioned into 2 and 4 but we know that the value of 2 in 24 is 20. 43 has been partitioned into 4 and 3 but 4, its true value is 40. So this will be an incorrect calculation, so really watch that one. Back to our grid, we're now going to multiply together the numbers in the 40 row. First of all, 40 times 20. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 20 is 80, and I need to make that 10 times bigger, so that will give me 800. Next we need to find the answer in this space, and that would be 40 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, times 10 is 160. Then we go to the row below. 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times 4 is 12. I've made sure I've put my grid on the left hand side of the page so that over here we've got room to add up our totals. So I look across my columns, I've got 800 and 160. I need to add those together. And that gives me 960. Then I look at the row below. 60 and 12. 60 plus 12 gives me 72. I need to add those two together. I can do that by column addition or mentally, um, however is best for me. In this case I'm going to partition 72. I'm going to add 40 to 960. That will give me 1000 and I have 32 left to add on, so that gives me 1,032. And that's how to multiply using the grid method.